Good morning, friends. This is the Daily Morning Podcast. I am Devarsh from HDFC Securities, and today it is twenty first of October. In global queues, U.S. stocks ended with gains on Tuesday, but well off the session highs after negotiation on new round of fiscal stimulus chugged along with Trump administration and Democrats continue to talk. Stocks largely took in stride. News that U.S. Justice Department was preparing to file a antitrust lawsuit against Google. Netflix reported disappointing earnings, leading to its share falling six percent after trading hours. A development that could cause an overhang on Asian trading. In domestic queues, the union cabinet is likely to take up a proposal under which domestic companies may not be allowed to pay hefty amount to their foreign partners for technology collaboration and brand name. To help the government shore up finances amid the coronavirus pandemic, the eight cash-rich PSU companies like Coal India, NTPC, NMDC, Moil, KIOCL, and Engineers India might be asked to buy back their shares this year. Hindustan Zinc has declared its highest interim dividend in 12 years, a dividend of rupees 21 per share. Hindustan Unilever reported 9% increase in its net profit yesterday. LTIL performance was above market expectations. Consolidated net profit grew 9.4% QOQ. Ultra Tech Cement is expected to post 1.2% decline in sales volume to 18.5 MMT. Asian markets are set for a modest uptick today. Indian benchmark indices rose for the third straight session yesterday. At the close, Nifty was up 23 points at 11,896. Nifty has outperformed its Asian peers. Indian markets could open mildly higher, following largely positive Asian cues. Some more gradual up move for the indices seems to be in store today. That's all for the day. Investment in securities market is subject to market risk. Do read all the relevant documents before investing. For detailed disclaimers, do visit our website www.hdfcsec.com. Thank you for listening in, and have a profitable day ahead. Oh, oh, oh.